USCIS to reopen offices and resume premium processing. Hello everyone, welcome to New Wyoming Law Group's YouTube channel. Today we will discuss the most recent announcements made by the USCIS, plus other useful information. The USCIS recently confirmed that their local field offices are reopening starting June 4th of this year to conduct interviews for I-485 Adjustment of Status applications, for N-400 Citizenship applications and naturalization ceremonies, and also for other official works. There will be safety requirements, including facial coverings that cover both the mouth and nose and hand sanitation. Applicants and their attorneys should not enter the facility more than 15 minutes prior to the interview appointment. The USCIS Application Support Centers, which take biometrics appointments for fingerprinting and photos, are also expected to reopen soon, although there is no definite schedule yet as of now. Applicants whose previous appointments canceled may receive new notices from the USCIS for updated schedules. The USCIS service centers have remained open throughout the past months and continue to process all kinds of green card and visa status applications, including I-140 for employment-based immigration, I-130 for family-based immigration, I-129 for work visas such as H-1B, L-1, and O-1, I-539 for change or extension of visa status, I-765 for employment authorization document, etc. Furthermore, the USCIS just announced that premium processing will be resumed in June. Specifically, starting June 1st, the USCIS will accept premium processing requests for I-140 petitions in EB-1A, EB-1B, and PERM-based EB-2, EB-3 categories. Later this month, the USCIS will gradually begin accepting premium processing requests for all kinds of I-129 work visa applications, including applications for H-1B, L-1, O-1, and other work visa status. Premium processing will be available to both the currently pending I-140 and I-129 applications and newly filed applications. For premium processing, the USCIS will charge an additional fee of $1,440 and will adjudicate the case within 15 calendar days instead of several months. However, as we know, adjudication within 15 days does not mean approval within 15 days. It is still possible for the applicant to receive RFE, Request for Evidence, NOID, Notice of Intention to Denial, or Decision of Denial after using premium processing. If you worry that the USCIS may not have sufficient time to review the application package and make a fair decision on your case, maybe you should avoid the risk and not use premium processing. The news above shows the USCIS is gradually returning to normal. However, in the meantime, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, currently there is a high unemployment rate in the United States. As a result, it is often difficult to find a suitable employer that supports work visa or student OPT. How to deal with this? If you were born outside of China or India and have qualified background, you may file NIW I-140 petition without employer sponsorship, and usually at the same time you can file I-485 adjustment of status application. After that, you can stay in the U.S. without any other visa status. This can help solve your current visa status problem and provide you more opportunity to continue looking for suitable jobs in the United States. Also, if your employer agrees to sponsor PERM Green Card for you, such application can be filed even before you obtain the work visa. Please see our other YouTube videos for more information on NIW, EB-1, I-140, I-485, and U.S. visa and green card applications. For additional information or to receive a free evaluation for your green card application, please email us at info at nwmlaw.com. Thank you and best wishes.